Howdy Crystal Conclave, it's Neshi, and welcome back to You Can't Even Tell If I'm Wearing Pants or Not. We're back in the TCG, it feels good. I love playing Duel Links, but I feel like my true home lies in the TCG. I want to come back with a big one card FTK. Should Sapphire Pegasus get banned? Well, of course not, but this is a sweet FTK. As long as you can make Halky Firebrax, you got it. I want to give a quick shout out to Sunlight Teams. I wouldn't have done this FTK if it wasn't for their video. They're literally like the expert behind it. I want to link their channel in the description. Check it out. It's it's really big brain. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. We're here in EDO Pro. We're going first and we're starting off with just one card, Noble Knight Shield Bear. So this is a new Noble Knight card that's coming out hopefully in Battles of Legend, I think. So that's going to be in July. Uh, it's first effect if this card is normal special summon you can banish a light monster from graveyard draw a card That's not why it's here. You can banish this card from your hand or field at a level 6 or lower wind beast monster from your deck to your hand Holy cow that effect can actually search out Sapphire Pegasus wouldn't you know it we have three more Sapphire Pegasus in our deck Essentially that means since it's a noble knight too We could search it out with heritage of the chalice and it's a level 4 lower warrior So we can use reinforcement of the army to search it out So we're gonna go ahead do some Standard crystal beast combos right here summon sapphire pegasus get zenith and this is an ftk wouldn't you know it? Uh, we can't actually use granite here because usually crystal beasts use granite into researcher in order to go into Halky Fibrax but we have a different way of going about it, which is a couple more uses a couple more bricks. <laughs> We're going to special summon Singing Lanius. What a great card! You know, it's a level four. It just special summons itself from the hand. We're going to use two Winged Beasts to go into Dragoonity Knight Romulus, and that's going to search out Dragoonity Divine Lance, which equips equips to the Romulus, and Divine Lance is going to equip a Phalanx from the deck. Phalanx is going to activate its effect. Special summon. And then, since we have a tuner and a non-tuner, that goes into Crystron Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax, aka Noodle Fiber, is going to get a Despot 001 from the deck. And we're going to link those two machines into Mecha Phantom Beast Aurorodon. I know, Halky Fibrax into Aurorodon, I sleep, these are sleeper combos. But stick around to the end, I promise you, it gets cooler. <laughs> now, Although we don't have Link Cross, we can still FTK through this. How do you ask? Well, we're gonna first go ahead and go into Herald of the Arclight. It's a pretty good card. And then we're going to use Aurorodon's effect, tribute two of the tokens to special summon a Colt Wing from the deck. Basically the second best Mecha Phantom Beast main deck monster. The first being O-Lion, of course, Rip O-Lion. And now that we summon two machines, Coltwing actually triggers the Despot 001 in our grave, yet again, so double Despot <laughs> trigger means it's going to be a pretty good combo. We're going to Synchro again into Herald of the Arclight, and we're going to overlay the two level 4s into Dugar is the Timeless. What the heck? This guy we're not going to draw to and discard one, we're going to detach to and special summon a level 4 lower from the graveyard. Actually, it doesn't have to be level 4 lower. And we're going to use Herald's Effect. This is how we're going to extend. We're actually using Rituals and using the Her Herald's Second Effect. It's the Herald's just such a good card, dude. <laughs> and we have an Xyz and a Synchro, so we can't Link Summon, so we have to get a little bit more creative since we can't Link Summon for the rest of the turn. We're going to Contact Fuse those out and trigger the Herald's Effect. That's going to give us Incantation Inception to our hand. One of the best spell cards in the game. We're going to use Chalice Slime's effect. Pitch the Inception. Special Summon Talismandra from the deck. Talismandra is going to search us out. A Megalith Fool from our deck. One of the best ritual monsters in the game. Next we're going to use Inception's effect. Tribute the Chalice Slime from our hand. Special Summon Kandal from the deck. And then that just adds back to our hand, and we're going to use Candle's effect next. That's going to give us just any ritual spell, it really doesn't matter. Contract of the Abyss is generic, so that's why it's used here. We're going to Inception now, and we're going to tribute off the Talismandra for Megalith Fool. We're not going to use its, its first effect, because we need it to be level 2 still, but we're going to use its second effect, and both of the effects are just broken. <laughs> 
We're going to use Megalith ha Haglith now to add Uniform to our hand. Next, since we have two level 4s, we can go ahead and overlay them into Gallant Granite. Such a cool card. I love Gallant Granite. Granite is going to detach Haglith, add Researcher to our hand. And Researcher is going to summon... What are what the heck are we going to do with the tuner? We already summoned Halky Fibrax. What other good are tuners for? Synchro summoning, of course. <laughs> We're going to sync those two into Garden Rose Maiden. Garden Rose Maiden is going to trigger her effect, add Black Garden to our hand. Next, we're going to use Megalith Uniformed, Ritual Summon from our deck, Megalith Fool, tributing Coldwing since it's double the level of Fool. And we're going to go ahead and summon that. We're not going to use Fool's effect. Next, we're going to activate our Black Garden, and then we're going to overlay our two level twos into Mannequin Cat. What the heck? How are we going to use Mannequin Cat's effect? Oh, Black Garden summons from our to our opponent's field, which triggers Mannequin Cat's effect, which lets us summon a dark monster from our deck. Summoner Monk. Whoa! <laughs> and Black Garden's going to trigger again. Summoner Monk, what the heck are you doing? Oh, you're pitching a ritual spell that we added to summon any level 4 monster from our deck. Rescue Ferret since we still have Link Arrows, baby. <laughs> ah, but we can't really use Rescue Ferret's effect. How, how the heck are we going to do this? Let's just go ahead and tribute all of these guys off. All these guys off right here. Summon out Trish. And then Black Garden's going to trigger. We're going to use Ints to clear our field. Pop that Trish. We don't want it here anymore. Next, we're going to use Rescue Ferret. Now that our zones are cleared out, we're going to summon out... Where is he? Doomdog Orthros and Carboneddon. There's the Carboneddon, and there's the, the Doomdog. He's a, he's a rough little boy. So th those are both level 3s, uh, so their levels add up to 6. We can't Link Summon, though. How are we going to get these guys in the graveyard? Oh, what's this? We can Special Summon a Charmer from our deck using a spellcaster and an earth monster. Whoa! We just, this is all like, we're all link summoning before link summoning was a thing. <laughs> That's pretty much what's going on here. We're going to use this effect to special summon a, a monster from our graveyard. It's gotta be a level four machine. You'll see why later on. So we're going to get that cult wing and it's gonna wanna trigger its effect and Black Garden wants to trigger its effect too because it's mandatory and we can't anymore right here, so. It's just, you know, mandatory effects being a thing. We're going to use Carboneddon's effect, now that it's in the graveyard, to get Guard Dragon Justicia from the deck. And now that we have a tuner, we can Synchro Summon, Shooting Riser Dragon. That's using the Charmer and our Guard Dragon that we just got. Now we're going to trigger three effects here, the Black Garden, which we don't need, and the Shooting Riser Dragon, and the Charmer. So it's going to add uh, an Awakening of the Possessed spell from our, to our, from our deck to our hand. It doesn't matter, we're not going to use it. Shooting Riser Dragon is going to dump specifically a level 6 Dark from our deck to the graveyard. And we're going to use Mana Dragon Zernatron because it's an honorary Crystal Beast. Next, we're going to go ahead and Synchro the Shooting Riser and the Doom Dog into Crystron Hit the Quandax. And we're going to use Doom Dog's effect. Black Garden's going to trigger. Add Earthbound Greater Lion Walker. What the heck? What does this guy do? Well, he special summons while we control a Synchro Monster. So we gotta do this now. We're gonna special summon him, and then he can just add an Earthbound Immortal from our deck to our hand. Asla Piscu. You might notice this from the Rocket FTK. <laughs> but when an Earthbound Immortal hits the field, you can make your opponent's life points 3,000. And when this guy leaves the field, he destroys all of our opponent's monsters and inflicts 800 for each of them. You might see where this is going. We're going to special summon our Gear Gigant X, because our next uh, kind of struggle is we're going to try and figure out how the heck we're going to get this guy on the field. 
Well, this is actually something really cool that I learned from the combo. We're going to detach the Hit the Quan Dax and add Symphonic Warrior Guitar. Whoa! This guy, you might notice him. If we activate him as a scale, we're going to use his effect Pitch a Card from our hand, the card that doesn't matter. Special Summon Mikes from the deck. How's it going, Mikes? Good to see ya. And Mikes lets us Normal Summon again. We don't have any more cards in our extra deck, we blew through all of it. And we're gonna go ahead and normal summon out the Asla Piscu. Since we have that extra normal summon. And Greater Line Walker is going to activate his effect. Inflicting, er, bringing our opponent's life points to 3000. So it doesn't matter if they're using Soul Absorption or Romage, anything. It doesn't matter if we upstart Goblin, they're just at 3000 now. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Now we have seven darks with different names in our graveyard. We're going to banish seven, so it's important that we use Zernish on there. And the Singulaneous, and finally the Raid Raptor Four Strix. Come forth, Rainbow Dark Dragon! Rainbow Dark Dragon, activate your effect! Banish all dark monsters on my field, including the Asla Piscu. Destroy my opponent's monsters and inflict 4,000 damage directly to their life points. Let's go ahead and go into the deck profile. So, here's the deck. We're... <laughs> it's a bunch of, like, turbo cards and brick cards. The extra deck is all necessary for the combo. Uh, left arm offering is just an another way to see cards, but our engine cards, I'll just point those out. We have three Sapphire Pegasus. A uh, Summoner Monk could get us to Sapphire Pegasus. We have the three Crystal Bond, the three Noble Knight guy, which searches Sapphire Pegasus. A Rhoda, which searches Sapphire Pegasus. Heritage of the Chalice Rainbow Bridge also searches Sapphire Pegasus. These are just draw ones. This doesn't matter because our opponent's life points are going down to 3,000 anyway. And the rest of the cards are just bricks, honestly. <laughs> the cards that are being ran at 2 are actually hard garnets. Uh, this I'm running at 2 just strictly because of Crystal Bond. If you draw and Crystal Bond, otherwise you can run 2 Rainbow Dark Dragon. But this is also a hard garnet. So a lot of these are actually Takatomborgs, not necessarily hard garnets. And the Performer Pop Popper Up is just another way to see those cards. Uh, if you have other cards in your hand that you don't mind pitching, uh, then you can go ahead and pitch those for Popper Up and then cert and try and dig for that Sapphire Pegasus, right? So these are just cards that you can get the FDK 60 card deck so that you don't see any of your bricks. Uh, I hope you guys liked that combo. Left Arm Offering is here just because it's here to search for that Crystal Bond. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this combo or have any other tips for making this better, Make sure to leave it in the comments below. Let me know how much you love this FTK and how much you love being back in the TCG with the new Noble Knight card. I'm going to put this image on the screen, by the way, in the combo. <laughs> but it's awesome just be having 16 ways to search Sapphire Pegasus. I never thought I'd see this in my life, but this card made it possible and it's truly beautiful that we get to Sapphire Pegasus every single game. Thank you guys very much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.